Welcome everyone to this week's track guide. Uh, sorry it's a little late, a little poorly at the start of the week, so uh, that's put a delay on some of the videos coming out. I only apologise for that. But anyway, this is a very long circuit in the Skippy, so let's not mess around and crack on. So, track temperature for you guys is just there, and results are here. Me and Matt have actually set the exact same time, which is brilliant. So 249.3, and I've just got beaten by Matt as well. Well done, that man. If he does a track guide, follow him. He's two tenths quicker. Um, but yeah, we're going to show you this lap, a 249.397. So as it's a long lap, let's get uh, rid of the webcam. And uh, well, crack on with this. Right then, so turning up to turn one, get the replay on there for you. We are breaking, as I pause it there, just as that 50 board over there starts disappearing from our screen and we're breaking pretty harsh all the way down into first gear now i would say that there's two important corners on this circuit this one being one of them because it leads onto a massive straight which includes radion and uh, the famous eau rouge let's not get them too muddled up so as i say breaking all the way down into first gear and what we're trying to do is get the car in as close to this wall as you can uh, without hitting it that is the key and we want to be early on the power as much as we can trying to maximize the straight particularly as this is downhill as well the skippy will gain a good amount of speed downhill and we don't want to run too far wide treat astroturf on this circuit as an off track this is known as spa franco off tracks so any astroturf you see avoid it like the plague so let's crack on a little bit to Eau Rouge, which is the first bit. So we're just going to pause it here. You can see the turning point for me is uh, there's traffic lights on my left hand side, which you can't see, but it's just before the 50 pool disappears again. And what we're going to do is smash this curb into oblivory, obl oblivion, sorry, and take as much as we can. As far as I can tell, there isn't an off track if you do it like this. But the key here is trying to keep this speed as high as possible. So therefore, straight lining this as much as we can we're going to lose speed it's going uphill we're in fifth gear the skippy doesn't have that much power now the trick here with practice is straight lining a uh, radion as much as we can so if we can straight line it we're keeping the wheel straight we're trying to gain speed as much as we can down the camel straight right then down at turns seven eight and nine now i believe is called lecoms or lescoms or something like that uh, i'm not particularly good with track corner names but uh, trying to learn them because it will be useful so what we are trying to do is get as far left as we can and we're breaking about halfway down the curb it's a bit of an odd one really but we're breaking down in the third gear and again this turn seven we want to kind of ride the curb this little concrete stuff here uh, off the white and red is absolutely fine to get your tires on same again with turn eight which we're coming across now now i am lifting off half throttle here because i want to stay on the left because again i want to be full power as early as i can and not lift through turn nine um i find that's the quickest way to come down here we do have a slight lift just to get the car rotated but as you can see there we're back on full power way before the exit again you can take loads of curb on this one and i do take a bit of dirt which is a little bit cheeky but hey ho but as again, on the left-hand side, AstroTurf, avoid it like the plague, it's an off-track. And I believe that green concrete is an off-track as well. Um, annoyingly, there is a lot of wide runoff areas here that uh, will induce a off-track, which is a real pain. Right, down into turn 10. Now, there's two lines you can do in here as we pause it. You can either break in a straight line and then go around it, but that it might you might get dive-bombed. So to cover that off, you can do a diagonal line straight to this curb here, if you can see it. So what I do, straight line it, and then kind of turn it in. We're down into second gear, and this corner is quite tricky, as a few around here, is it's balancing the brake and the throttle at the same time. So I am de-accelerating, but I've got throttle on because I need to keep the rear in check. You will get a lot of people um, get some oversteering here just because they're solely on the brake. So keep a bit of throttle in, keep the rear end in check, but obviously a little bit of brake. The brakes are way more powerful than the throttle in this car, as in all cars. So even if you had like less brake than throttle, you'll still be slowing down. Now, this I believe does have a name, but I call it No Name, which should be turns, what are we, 11 now? So loads of curb on entry, 
And again, you can get an off track here. So I put the tire on this concrete stuff here and avoid the dirt and good old faithful AstroTurf is here. So avoid it like the plague. If you go too wide through there, you will run wide and get an off track, particularly if you're on the outside, but try and avoid it as much as you can. Cause again, you will rack up off tracks around this track. Right then, down to turns 12. Now, I see these as two corners, but apparently they count as one, and it's called Puon, which is a very interesting name. So just had to rewind it a little bit there because I fell a little bit forward. This marshalling post here, I'm kind of breaking down and breaking down into fourth gear, maybe just before actually, just saying that, and I'm trying to set the car up so I don't have to brake again. And I have a little sneaky brake just to get the car rotated. But the worst thing you can do is brake mid-corner. You're sliding the car in a way. And if you brake, you will end up facing the wrong way. Again, I'm trying to minimize steering input here by not running wide. Again, AstroTurf, avoid it like the plague. And we would never come off throttle now through the second half of this corner, which is what you want. And I'm trying to, you can when it's playing, you can hear the tires screaming their little heart out. And all you're trying to do is minimize steering and minimize speed loss. It's one of these tracks where momentum is key. Again, AstroTurf, don't run too wide onto it. You get an off track. Down to turn 13. Now we come down here, there's a beautiful tire mark just there. And as that goes over the nose, I'm slamming on the brakes and I think I've done the third if my memory serves me correctly. And what I wanna do is stay quite wide until there's a little extra bit of road here and then I start mounting the curb, and this is the bit where I want to be fully over, because again, I want to open turn uh, 13, sorry, 14, that's 13, this is 14. I want to try and open up 14 as much as possible. And again, we've got a lovely bit of extra uh, concrete stuff here, so we may as well use it. And again, we're full throttle as early as we can. This is quite a shallow corner, so you can take full throttle quite early. This one, you can nick a tire onto the AstroTurf, but again, don't go too far over because you will get a lovely off track. Down to turn 15. Now this, I would say, is another important corner. So this technically leads, you're not really touching the brakes now until the, the final chicane. So this is another very important corner where you want to maximize your exit speed as much as you can. Saying that, we want to get as far left as we can. And as we come onto the uh, the uh, curb here, we are braking and we're down into third because we changed up into fourth. Again, lovely bit of concrete here and we're getting all the way on it. And you can see as we come around onto exit, we have our lovely AstroTurf. Now, if you do get an off track over here, you may as well stay on it because it'll open up turn 16 over here. And this is the corner that you do want to open up. So I've just changed gear. And I want to try and take this full throttle if I can and not lift off ever again for a hell of a long straight. And luckily we do. If you are going to turn, if you are going too wide here, you can run wide. It's only an off track. It's not a slowdown. So you can run over there and then join the track down here. Not a problem. Right. Now we have uh, a straight that is virtually flat out until we get to turn 18, which is about here. So I call this Blanchimon, but I believe the Blanchimon corner is the one before, but I think this is a corner. I don't think that one is a corner. So turn 18, nonetheless, we're getting as far right as we can. Now do not touch this grass. If you turn in and you're on this graph, you will be going one way ticket into this barrier down here. Don't do it. So as we're coming down here, I do touch the grass a little bit, but I'm straight off it and I do turn in quite early. Now I Turning a slightly bit later would be ideal. I try not to hit this curve because I find it unsettles the car, particularly the rear end. And I don't want to run too wide because as always, we've got a lovely bit of AstroTurf here. Avoid it and you'll be fine. Half a car on the uh, red and white curbs and we're sweet as a nut. Coming down to the chicane. Again, good, op uh, good overtaking opportunity here as it was coming down the Camel Strait. Uh, skip barbers love strip slipstream and you will get a lot of people dive bombing you here it's one of them things if they've got the inside line as long as they can hold their line you've got the inside for the next chicane so defending it i would always go for the inside just to be safe but uh, you're going to get a lot of overtakes down here and a lot of people locking up brakes as uh, i'll probably show you at the end some guy almost did to me in practice so crack on with this there's lovely dirt patches on the road 
you can see and I break at this big blob here and you can see fully on the brake and we're all the way down in the first gear nick some of this curb as well to get the exit uh, sorry the entrance more open and you want to get your brake into a point where you're braking trail braking on the way in and you don't want to touch the brakes for the second one so I'm down to like 40 miles an hour and I'm hugging the curb to open up turn 20 and I don't touch the brakes again, I'm just barely on the throttle and luckily the skip barber does respond and again it's about 40 miles an hour but I want to get on the power as early as possible. AstroTurf, avoid it, I've said that enough times but I cannot stress the importance around here, particularly in the uh, longer races that you will find coming up in a different series, you will recruit 17 uh, off tracks quite quickly. And well there we go, straight line across the grid and you can see the time change to a 49397 so as always the lap will follow over uh, at the end of this video so you can see it at full speed and i hope you enjoyed it i hope this helps and i'll catch you on the next one bye bye